So you're painting with acrylic and you wonder if gouache is the best fit for you? Well, I may be a bit biased, but here are six reasons why gouache is way better than acrylic. And before we begin, I need to talk about acrylic gouache. Acrylic gouache is not gouache, it's acrylic with a matte finish. It's just marketing, so you can buy something way more expensive than if you would use regular acrylic or regular gouache. So don't be fooled by brands. Acrylic gouache is a nonsense. Shouldn't be called this way. So now we have talked about that, let's move to regular acrylic versus regular gouache, which is the only gouache, by the way. Both gouache and acrylic are water-soluble medium, and acrylic is supposed to be used opaque. Unlike gouache, that can be used opaque or more transparent, depending on the amount of water you add in your mix. Try to add a lot of water to your acrylic mix to get something transparent, and you will tell me how it goes. Uh, not very well, I'm afraid. Gouache allows you to create delicate, transparent washes or bold, opaque layers. And this is a great way to experiment with different textures and different techniques. You can have nice gradients with gouache and you can also have very dry textured brush strokes. So with the same paint, which is gouache, you can create transparent backgrounds with very diluted gouache, almost like watercolor. So you can go the full range from watercolor to opaque medium. You can build layers if you increase the consistency of the paint in each layer. You can paint light over dark, which is better than watercolor, for example and you can add texture and dimension with thick paint. All right, if I'm being completely honest, you can go much thicker with acrylic, especially if you add medium to it. Okay, on this specific point, acrylic is better, but that's not the whole point of it. Quash as a matte finish. All right, acrylic can have two, but still you don't have the velvety touch of gouache, which is really awesome. And one of the good things to have a matte finish is that it's very, very easy to photograph. If you have ever tried to take photos of acrylic, you will see what I mean. You always have a reflection on it. Unlike gouache, which is easy to photograph and to scan because nothing is catching the light. And if really you like a glossy finish, you can still add varnish to your gouache, to your gouache painting. But I feel that the velvety look and feel of the gouache adds a lot of dimension to my art. I love it. Good point with gouache, you can re-wet the paint, either on the palette or on your painting. Let's talk about the painting. So it can have a downside as well, because sometimes you may re-wet something you didn't want <laughs> to re-wet, but there are ways to turn around this. And as a paint is rewettable, it means that you don't have to waste paint. You can let it dry on your palette and use it again later for a transparent background, a light wash, for example. And if you want to save your paint, you can use an airtight palette. All right, you can do it with acrylic as well, but I'm talking about the best things of gouache here. You can reactivate gouache weeks, months, years later. It's never finished, so it means that you can always fix your mistake. It's easy to adjust what you have painted, to change the temperature, the value, the saturation, the color by itself. You can still repaint on top of it, even if you need to. Be a bit careful while doing this, and I have a video about that that I link in the description about how to layer gouache without getting muddy colors. One of the things I prefer about gouache is how easy it is to clean. This is really a dream. I paint a lot with oil painting too, and let me tell you, cleaning is not the same. With gouache, you can let your palette sit for a while and clean it three months after, that's okay. You can also clean with just tap water, 
Add a bit of soap if you want, but it's really not necessary. And that's the same for brushes. Just wash them under tap water, a bit of regular soap, whatever you have, it works just fine. And same on your clothes, your desk, your skin. It's washable very easily and it's non-toxic. So it's perfect for children and pets around us. Uh, my cat just walked in my palette the other day and I was happy it was gouache and not acrylic because he was licking his paws all the time. <laughs> Which is also very important for me is gouache is a greener choice for artists. Gouache has no VOC inside like acrylic paints that contribute to air pollution. So if you use gouache, you are more friendly to the environment and it helps to reduce the impact of the art world. I know it's not much because we are just little butterflies in our little art studio, but what we can do each and every one of us is still important. Gouache has less chemicals involved in the making process and also in the cleaning process and it's also recyclable. You can throw it in the regular bin. There is no harm for the environment, in my country anyway. And lastly, gouache can be mixed with other mediums. Uh, it works beautifully with watercolor, with color pencils, with ink. You can add really a lot of different things that can be dry or wet media and it's Really cool for mixed media projects. Colored pencils, especially with the texture paper, are really great to add details and depth to your drawing and paintings. So as I said, I'm a bit biased because I love gouache. I also use acrylic, by the way, but not as much as gouache from far. Gouache has a lot, a lot of advantages. Um, maybe a bit of downsides too, but that's for another story.